effort that we should be making today. The madrasa of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the pedagogy, the teaching methodology of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yes, he taught the Quran, he taught the hadith, he taught Deen to the Sahaba Kiram. But what was the actual, the syllabus of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi madrasa? Hazrat Abdullah ibn Jindub radiyallahu alaihi says, "Kunna ma'an Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa nahnu fitiyanun hazawira." فتعلمنا الإيمان قبل أن نتعلم القرآن ثم تعلمنا القرآن فزددنا به إيمان We were with Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم We were young boys First of all we learnt Iman Then we learnt the Quran Then when we went to, on to learn the Quran After learning our Iman Then the Quran enhanced and increased our Iman Today this effort has not been made and this is what this effort of Dawat and Tabligh is about. Why do we go out in the path of Allah? To learn Iman. To bring faith in our hearts that Allah Ta'ala is the greatest. Allah Ta'ala is the all-seeing. Allah Ta'ala is the all-doing. If I have that yaqeen in my heart, that Allah Ta'ala is all-seeing, all-doing, all-knowing, all-wise. And Allah Ta'ala will resurrect us. Allah Ta'ala created me in the first place. He will resurrect me on the day of judgment. I will have to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maliki yawmiddin. I will have to give an account of my whole life. Allah Ta'ala is most powerful. And nothing is hidden from the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-awwal wal-akhir wal-zahir wal-batin. Al-awwal bila ibtida wal-akhir bila intiha. Al-awwal laysa qablahu shay wal-akhir laysa ba'dahu shay. Allah ta'ala is the alpha, Allah ta'ala is the omega. Allah ta'ala is the first and Allah ta'ala is the last. Allah is the first without a beginning and Allah ta'ala is the last without an ending. Allah is the first before whom there is no one. And Allah is the last after whom there is no one. And al-awwal wal-akhir wal-zahir wal-batin. Ulema ikram they say, one meaning of that is, when there was nothing, there was still Allah. There was no Jibrail, there was no Mikael, there was no Israfil, there was nothing. And there was Allah. And when Allah Ta'ala will give death to everything, even Malakul Mot will die, the angel of death will die. And Allah Ta'ala will say, Limanil Mulkul Yawm. He will ask that, who, to whom does the kingdom, kingdom and the dominion belong? And there will be no one to answer. He will say, Lillahi Wahid al Qahar. So that is one meaning, that when there was nothing, there was still Allah. When there will be nothing, there will still be Allah. Another meaning that ulama ikram, they say, when there was no one for you, there was still Allah for you. And when there will be no one for you, when everyone will abandon you, either out of treachery, if it happens in life, either out of treachery or out of inability. A person gets diagnosed with cancer. Allah Ta'ala give all the sick people shifa. Allah Ta'ala protect us all. And the doctors, they say, we can do nothing for him. The doctors have moved back. His parents, they can't do anything for him except cry for him. His mother is saying that, Ya Allah, I've lived my life. Take my life, give it to him, but save him. He's still young. There's nothing else she can do for him. So when there's no one for you, there is still Allah for you. Allah Ta'ala can still cure you. Allah Ta'ala can still help you. And likewise, in every difficulty, Allah Ta'ala can find a way out for us. So when that yaqeen comes into our hearts, that Allah Ta'ala is all-powerful, almighty, then for us to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will become easy. Today that yaqeen is not there. Today we have utilized.